Hi everyone, welcome again. In this video, we are going to continue with the lab of, of chapter 3. We have done the first early start and early finish values, and then we have found the duration of the project and draw, drawn the Gantt chart. The project takes 14 days. Now we are going to f uh, fill out the late start, late finish values, and then uh, complete the slack and explain what they are. Okay, so the early start and early finish values, we had to fill them out starting from the top, going bottom, and this is called the forward pass. So we are moving forward to fill out these forms. The late start and the late finish values are going to be filled out from the bottom going to the top, so this is called a backward pass. So we have to do this in this way, otherwise we are not going to be able to do this. So the late finish values that we are seeing here are the, are the days that, or the time periods that we could finish the activities the latest. So if we want to finish this project in 14 days, then the late finish and the early finish should not be different. So it has to be the same thing as the early finish value. So I have a phone call. I'm going to pause this. Okay, so that the, the project has to finish by week or day 14. And that activity G has to be done by uh, the time period 14. Now, if it has to be done by 14, when should it start the latest? And we know that because it only takes one day to be completed. So if it is done by 14, it is going to be starting by the late finish minus that duration. Okay. So the late start, as in early finish, would all uh, be the same values. You could just copy and paste the same formula. Whenever you have the late finish value, the late start value will, can be found by just subtracting the duration. So I could just copy this to the top. Now these values are wrong, but when we enter the values for late finish, they'll be uh, good to go. So the late finish for F. In this case, what we have to do is we have to look at the immediate followers uh, column and F is has a follower of G so F should not delay G F has to be done by this time okay so D19 the late start time of G is the late finish time of F and I look at E E has to be E has a follower F so it has to just start finish uh, by this time then we look at D. D has a follower G, so it has to be done by 13 as well. And C has, a, has two followers, D and E. Now, D has to, can start as late as the 10, but E has to start as late as 6. When should we finish C the latest so we will not delay any one of these? In that case, at opposite to the early start, early finish idea, we have to take the minimum of the two, minimum of the immediate followers, late start times because we do not want to, uh, to delay any one of these activities. So. It, C has to be done by 6 even though D can start as late as 10. So if you have some difficulty understanding this, please refer to the textbook. And late finish of B would be just also the minimum of uh, D and E. And the late finish of A would be the minimum of B and C. So, what we have 
is for some activities we see that the early start and late start values are the same but for some early start and late start values are different the same thing for the early finish and late finish so if I can start at a different day and finish by the same time that means I have some flexibility on that activity that I could just delay that activity for a while it's not going to affect my completion time so which activities have that kind of flexibility that we could measure using the slack so slack is the difference between the late start and the early start or the difference between the late finish and the early finish you can take either one of this it has to be the same number so what if you have the late start early start differences a different number whereas late finish minus early finish is another number hmm? that means you're in trouble your values are wrong okay so well, I'm gonna take the late start minus early start and the slack is zero and double click and I see that I have for B and D I have some kind of a slack let me just look at here B I can delay B a little later and it's not gonna affect the D and E okay so there's some flexibility of either making the duration longer or just moving the start time a little further away and if I look at D D can just go up to uh, 10 from 6 it's not going to delay any of the activities because the follower of D is just G D has that much of flexibility here so if you want what you could do is you can take the slags and you can go to data and uh, here um, maybe okay I'm trying to see okay not these not those where is it okay yeah it's under home I'm sorry guys so you can go to conditional formatting and you can say that I want to highlight cells they if they are equal to zero okay and light red fill with dark red text and I'm just going to click OK so what it tells us is whichever value here is zero that we call those activities as the critical activities so the critical activities are the ones that we cannot delay and B and D are not critical because they have slack we have a flexibility but the others we have some kind of uh, the B and D are have the slack but the others we cannot really do anything we cannot change their time they're rigid they have to be completed by that time otherwise the project will get delayed and if you want you could just also put a critical uh, column here and say yes or no and you can say if this number is equal to zero then I will put yes otherwise I will put no and we could just get yeses and nos using an if statement so what we have done we have found the early start early finish late start late finish values we have co found the, the project completion time we have found the, the activities that are on the critical path and you can also find this easily using pen and paper as well and please refer to the textbook just look at the, the longest path and you can identify the critical activities using that uh, approach as well and uh, so everything is done here I'll have to just cut the video one more time so nine minutes I just want to don't want to just go over 10 or 15 minutes duration so this is gonna be a little load for you but I'll have to just create one more video with another uh, the pert example and uh, 
then we are going to be done with this uh, week's uh, video sessions. Bye for now.